All right, we got the Olympics. It's a supposing Joel Embiid. They were dumb. Joel Embiid didn't do shit the they whole Olympics, bro. Anthony Davis got injured. Bam Adebayo went in at center. Watch this. Embiid is trash, bro. Close. Steve Kerr told him before the game he wasn't playing. Why? Because of matchup issues. Imagine the MVP two years ago being outmatched by South Sudan. What a slap in the face. Sixers fans are like, good, dude needs all the rest he can get for the season. But actually, something very weird is happening with Joel Embiid. Sixer fans should be scared because he is getting exposed at the Olympics. And what's wrong? The college assistant who knows him best said, Joel likes to be liked. A guy like Kobe doesn't give a He's like, F you. I mean, Joel's competitive, but he wants everybody to be happy and he wants people to like him. But in France, dude is enemy number one. Said he feels like the most hated guy in the NBA, which no one believes. But why does he feel that way? Because of France. Guy Got booed every time he touched the ball against Serbia. He's getting heckled. And is like. Joel, rend ton passeport, hein? Rend ton passeport, Joel, hein? Joel, pour la France. Va les jouer en France, hein? That is messed up. But it's does no he wrong, actually though. deserve it? In 2018, Joel told the media, my native country, Cameroon, France, and the United States are my current options for the Olympics. So French ears perked up because they are entering a golden age. It's similar to Argentina's golden age when they won gold at the 04 Olympics. Multiple great players all peaking at the same time. So in the 2019 World Cup, France shocked the US by beating them in the quarterfinals by 10 points. Then at the 2021 Olympics, they beat the US again, game one of pool play. Damn. It would have been a gold if not for Kevin Durant. What happened to the team though? They're not good like that this year. So get Embiid with Victor Wimbanyama for Paris? Ex-NBA player Boris Diaz said, Joel came to us and said he wanted to play international basketball. He said he wanted to play for France. Perfect! Get this man a French passport! But they usually give citizenship to people who live and work in France for five years, mm. or if you marry a French person, or if your parents are French. Embiid is none of those. So French basketball had to pull some strings, and a diplomat flew to Philly to interview Joel. He convinced them to grant him citizenship because he would provide a valuable service. Wow, MB is so, a snake, bro. Frenchman Joel MB. But then he got injured before Eurobasket in 2022. Had he suited up, that would have sealed the deal. And he was getting married before the 2023 World Cup. But while France was taking a beat down during that tournament, Joel was taking an oath for U.S. citizenship. Uh-oh. Wow. Two weeks later, he commits to play ball for the USA. Bro, so MB is a snake, bro. Some people I don't even know what he played for my America, though. I just don't understand, bro. Because he said he'd play there, then he changed his mind like the flake MB it is. They have every right to hate him. Other people say, look, if it was Cameroon, go ahead. But France? Booing a guy who's never lived in your country is weak AF. Hey, one person backing him up is Anthony Edwards. He said... You got Wimby and Rudy. Why would he want to play with y'all? Wimby and Rudy, what more do y'all want? You want three seven-footers? Yeah, yeah, that's weird. US that's what I'm saying. That's Joel true. Embiid. Or do they? Because right now, dude is playing horrible. The U.S. got Embiid because America doesn't really have any great centers right now. And against Rudy Gobert and Nikola Jokic, they wanted more. But in the four run-up games to Paris, Embiid averaged just 11 points, seven boards with two turnovers. Uh. Against Serbia... Four points, okay. two boards, and two turnovers. It was so bad, Kerr pulled him like two minutes into the game, then completely benched against South Sudan. Yes, the same thing happened to Jason Tatum against Serbia, but the U.S. is thin at center. It is not the same thing. You could say the problem is his fit. Steve Kerr likes a motion offense for Golden State. It allowed Clay to shoot multiple threes without a dribble. But in Philly, the ball sticks with Joel. So under Kerr, he's uncomfortable. Also, he is a notorious slow starter. October has been his lowest average of the season. Then he slowly ramps up the points and the rebounds as the year goes along. Well, that is terrible for the Olympics. You only have like six games to do your thing. Also, he had an illness, but it's always something with Joel Embiid, isn't it? And right now, Steve I like Tom Brady, bro. Embiid will be back in the starting lineup next game, but this is his last shot. Dude's got the worst plus minus of any U.S. starter. 
Kerr will absolutely go with Anthony Davis or Bam going forward if Joel keeps getting exposed. Oh, by the way, LeBron is like 40. He's out there. What's his excuse? I'm a man. I'm 40. So the national narrative Fuck. is starting to change. People are running out of patience with Joel and B. And if that happens, he's really going to be the most hated player in the NBA. And that could affect his game. But watch out, a guy like Colin Cowherd used the Serbia game to end Joel's career. Beyond padding his stats, Philadelphia keeps running coaches through him and teammates through him. He is the most overhyped, coddled, and over discussed player in the NBA. Wow. Not but many people so talk about Embiid, much less though. Hate if Embiid looked good. I mean, yes, he is in a lesser role surrounded by stars, a slow start. But if he was like playing sharp, setting hard screens, playing with passion, people would excuse it. Instead, he's just loafing around, all casual, slow, sluggish, moping, like always. So people say, why haven't you gotten out of the second round? Yeah, injuries, but not two years ago against Boston. Dude was up 3-2, but lost two games Bro, in a row, including... I saw something about MB talking about, oh, we would have won against Celtics if they were not. They have a super team and what? Bro. I don't want to hear no excuse from no one, exceptionally Embiid, bro. You got smacked by the Celtics three, two years in a row, bro. You guys are trash, bro. Even if Celtics is not a super team, he's a well-built team, bro. Stop it, bro. Hey, you're going to lose this season again, bro. We're winning the championship back-to-back, -back, bro. You got Paul George. It's not going to be enough to stop us, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, gang. Points, eight boards, and stop a game the excuse, seven. bro. Oh, he had Stop the fucking excuse, hard, bro. But it's always some excuse. He was an MVP that year. Do something. And he so got lucky too, bro. This is starting to define who Joel Embiid is as an NBA player. It's Dude, sad. It's trash, we usually bro. wait to see how a career plays Bro, this out. season he played well too, though. Prime, he was averaging like 30 prime. points something. It was number one and he I got mean, injured again. A Sixers this nigga need to have an LT season, bro. Every May, you're pissed off. This season is his legacy. This legacy is on the line, but I don't give a fuck. Hope comes Back. If this season year, I'm not satisfied Cole with Embiid's performance, bro, it's completely washed to me, bro. Well, got James Harden. Then every year the same thing, and I don't blame them for feeling hopeless. Definitely even look like a younger Paul Tom Brady, a skinny or Tom Brady, something. Team. And it's the best roster that most Sixers fans have ever seen in their lifetime. But the one constant is Joel. Now he can flip all of this with a great rest of the Olympics. And maybe and is the supposed NBA to be finals. cooking the Olympics, but I don't know what he's doing, bro. To Paris? I mean, instead of his normal routine, dude can't rehab his knee or work out with his trainer, Drew Hanlon. Instead, he is with Team USA for a month. Won't get back until late August, basically when Sixers camp starts. This has Joel Embiid excuse written all over it. And if he's not careful, we are seeing the definition of Embiid as a player right in front of our eyes at the Olympics. But why Making not a happy story? Every time, bro. So I just did this video about a guy named Jason Preston, literally an NBA blogger. Yeah, um, yeah, don't care. Good video, though.